At Evanston, Illinois was favored to topple its traditional state foe Northwestern. It was biting cold. The field was frozen. But Illinois went to work with a vengeance. Here in the first quarter, fullback Dick Raklovitz is held for a short gain. On this next play, Watts quarterback Freddie Major fake to Johnny Karras and hand off to Raklovitz. This is a setup play for Karras' touchdown run. Now they're ready to try the same play again, but with the opposite man carrying the ball. The fake to Raklovitz and the handoff to Karras. And he races around end with great blocking going on in front of him. Key blocks thrown by guards Chuck Brown and Leo Cahill that send him into the end zone for an Illinois touchdown. On the split tee, it's a handoff to Big Rich Athen, the fullback. And he slips off would-be tacklers at the 16 and sprints into the end zone for a Northwestern touchdown. Now the ball is handed to Gene Miller. Gene Miller hits right tackle and pounds his way through for nine yards, just short of a first down. Flowers calling the signals for Northwestern. Illinois in the white shirts. It's Flowers on a quarterback sneak, and he goes over the middle of the line for a first down for the Wildcats, keeping their drive alive. Flowers barking out the signals. He gives the ball to Gene Miller, who's playing his last game for Northwestern. Miller hits right tackle. Fullback Richie Athens screens off two tacklers, and Miller is suddenly in the clear and over the goal line. He goes into the end zone for the game-winning touchdown. Ragsef kicks the extra point, and Northwestern scores one of the stunning upsets of the 1950 season. Remember the way those standings read at noontime of this fateful November 25th.